Mm. So, yeah. You know they always like the dark, mysterious type. You know that, right? Of course they do. Let's go. Welcome back. Let's go. All right. Today we're going to chit and chat about this fragrance that I saw pop up on my radar many times ago. But I went ahead and took a closer look, you know what I'm saying? I went ahead and bought it, all right? Now, this is another fragrance from this house. A little bit more well-known, you probably heard of. It's called Oud Touch. So I'll probably check out at some point, seeing at this price point. It's so good. Now, today we're gonna go ahead, and take a look at the darker side from this line, which is Black Touch, all right? Interesting name, interesting model, and interesting fragrance, all right? Now, disclaimer. When I first got this in the mail and I sprayed this on, my first thought was, do I smell like old man? Remind me of when I was a kid, you know, you go to your uncle's house or something like that, go in the bathroom, something sitting on the counter, smell at you. <clears throat> old man smell. That's all I admit. It took me a little while to get into this one, all right? But let's talk about this house. Then let's talk about this particular fragrance. Let's get the ball rolling, all right? Now, before we get our toes wet, let me go ahead and thank you guys for your support. Channel just hit 1K subs a few weeks back, and I couldn't be more thankful. So shout out to you guys who've been watching the channel, you know, dropping comments in the comment section, sending me encouragement, suggestions. Appreciate that because it could be anywhere on the net, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. If you haven't already subscribed, the like button too. Let's keep the ball rolling. All right, now today we're going to take a look at Black Touch, break down the nose, the performance, when you can wear this, who's this for, and ultimately, should you blind by this? So first, who the is Frank Olivier? All right, now the story goes, he's a French designer, named the company after his, uh, his children. You know, the first name of his children, Frank and Olivier, you know what I'm saying? It started out with fashion, but it got into fragrances and we got what we got today, all right? We got something from Frank and Olivier. We got the black touch, okay? All right, now, with that being said, this is a pretty simple bottle. We're gonna go ahead and talk about this presentation. All right, let's straight to the point. You know, the bottle's completely black, you know, with some silver writing on it. It says black touch, Frank Olivier, Paris. You know, the bottom had this interesting geometry and then this uh, this olive tree on there. Um, so you flip the bottle over and it'll tell you uh, a little information, namely that it was made in France. Go ahead and taking this cap off. Atomizer's pretty decent. You know, and I know some of you probably like, well, why does that even matter? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll tell you, when you pick up a fragrance and that atomizer, you spray it and it kind of just, kind of just spittles out. It sucks, okay? Nobody wants that, okay? Nobody wants a spilling atomizer, a spilly, spilly. Nobody wants that, all right? Now, anyways, in the top here, you got bergamot, grapefruit, vetiver, geranium leaves, jasmine, a little bit of cedar, some earthy notes, patchouli, musk, and a little vanilla in the dry down. It has a dark, you know, kind of green forest freshness to it. Also get a bit of that grapefruit kind of adding to that combination. Now, that earthy forest floor is created with a blend of spices and uh, cardamom, which I love cardamom. As I have uh, come to grow to learn fragrances, I love cardamom. You know, in the midst, you have geranium, orange flower, and, you know, jasmine is also listed here. This takes on a classic appeal, but it also stands out for being dark and earthy. So somehow this has been working out to be a, a good thing for me. You know, I'm telling you, when I first heard this, I was really wanting to walk away from this and leave this in the dust. But I've worn this so much in these colder months, and I've been layering this with uh, one of my favorites from Armoth, uh, Armoth Craze. And I know some of you out there, you know, the, the, the purest thing you are saying, like, why are you laying fragrance to let it shine on this one? But let me tell you something, all right? I love to blend a fragrance up, especially when you get something like this that I'm already knowing what I'm looking for and what they have to offer. So combination of the two just, just give me exactly what I want. 
it kind of changes up a bit a little you know for me and i like to do that so anyways i digress let's talk about this concentration now this is the edt and since we're talking about concentration let's go ahead and talk about where this more than likely drew some inspiration from all right you have the legendary encre noir and then you know the always solid tear there mess you know now they compared both of these fragrances basically combined and i say you know this mostly has a vetiver um earthy accord to it and, and underlying and like a vanillic note you know kind of bringing us this all together but as far as the performance make sure you moisturize skin let me let me let me let me, let me, let me get that out there every time all right now i was on skin you get about five to seven hours of longevity I was on clothing, it's going to go last you about the seven, eight hour mark, you know, which is to me more than enough time. Um, at that point, I probably want to try something different. You know, uh, I oftentimes wear different fragrances throughout the day. I may start off with one thing, feel in a certain type of way, change the mood, change the occasions. I'm going to throw on something else. You know, that's just how I do it. different outfit. Let's go. Now, as far as projection, you're getting around two or three feet of projection. So not super strong in projection. Sea eyes, one or two uh, feet scent trail. You know, it's not gonna leave an intense scent trail. And after that first hour or so, it's gonna sit a little bit closer to your skin, but the smell is something very pleasant, masculine, earthy, and dark. All right, now, as far as the overall quality versus the price metrics, you know, I think this one is very solid here. You know, for what you pay for it, in my opinion, uh, I'm looking forward to getting something else from that line. Now. Speaking of that price point, now how much are you coming out of pocket for this dark, earthy little beast? I picked this up for $20. You can probably pick this up for even less. All right. Now, should you blind buy this? Let's try a rating system. All right. Let's try rating this system this time. All right. Like out of five stars, I'm going to give this two out of five stars. And then the reason why is because. I know that there are some of you out there that may enjoy vetiver, and there's some of you out there that have never really smelled vetiver, or maybe you smelled it and you know that that's something you just didn't know it by name. So I'm going to say this is one, and, and also the, the darkness of this fragrance, the earthiness of this fragrance, uh, I want you to understand what you're getting yourself into, you know what I'm saying? If 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 you look at it in terms of just like, hey, well, it's only $20, I can pick it up, fine. But some of you might not enjoy this, but hey, try it at your own risk. This is something I'm into. I'm into Terre de Mez. I'm into Encre Noir. Um, so it works for me. Please do keep that in consideration. Where can you buy this? All right, the link is gonna be in the description. Discounter, eBay, all over the place. Now, I picked up this bottle off of Amazon, you know, but go ahead and drop that, uh, drop that into Google. Go ahead and Google it, hit that shopping tab. Go ahead and find the best prices, you know what I'm saying? Do your due diligence out here, guys, all right? All right, now, do you have this already? All right, go ahead and comment down below. You know what I'm saying? And you wanna know what else is good though? Go ahead and click one of these, all right? Go ahead and click one of them. It's gonna pop up at some point. Just click one of them. But we're gonna keep this ball rolling. We'll get at you guys in the next one. Dooski.